Hi everyone, thanks for all the positive comments and the likes. I really appreciate that. This tutorial is brought to you because of one of those comments. It's about how to change the colors of the track plane to have a specific color. And I'm also throwing in how to hide the plane completely. So I hope this helps. Make sure you leave a like and a comment. Make sure you hit subscribe if you haven't done that as well. I hope you're ready. So let's get started. First, let's go to the build settings. Hit the player settings over here. Uh, well, actually, before we go to player settings, hit Android and go to switch platforms. Uh, now we're on the Android platform. Go to assets, import, import our custom package, which is the AR Core Unity uh, SDK, the brand new one, version 1.0.0. Import everything in here. Click on our player settings and let's change some of this stuff. Um, I think this is all okay. Uh, icon stuff we can ignore. Other settings we want to change. Switch multi thread rendering off. Change your company name to whatever you want. And continue just to high floor. Make sure we put Android settings to 7.0. And then finally, we want to change our XR settings to AR Core supported. And now that we've done that, and we have our project in, we can grab our example fold example folders. Inside of that, we have our scenes. We grab the Hello AR one, and I'm going to jump straight into this one. And I'm going to start editing it up. Um, so what we want to do is hide the floor, right? That's what we're trying to do. So if we open up our Hello AR controller, now ordinarily I would tell you to edit this and change the name from Hello AR controller to whatever you want, but just for the speed and for simplicity's sake, I'm going to jump straight into this one and edit it as it is. So um, the start of our code, it has the camera, you can see it has tracked plane, pre prefabs, Andy prefab. I'm not going to change any of this. You can do that obviously in your in your actual app, but since this is specifically looking at the tracked plane visualizer this is what i want to focus on and in on i'll try and see how we can change the color of it or even remove it completely so is it the, i think it's this one if i right click it and i go to go to declaration which is really handy it takes us to where uh, well, you know the code behind this so it has tracked plane visualizer the cs here and we can see now immediately we have something called color K underscore planes color. Now, these are the colors of the planes. So you notice that it's always a random kind of color when you're kind of looking at the we're creating the tracked planes. Uh, well, that's just not. It doesn't look like it is random actually. What it is is actually the set colors that they've put in. So we could change these colors to anything we want now. So uh, the way this works is red, blue, and green rg no rgb so red green and blue i should say uh, so let's 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 test this out and let's make it so it was all a hundred percent uh red so let's change this to zero and let's change this to zero and what i'm also going to do is i'm going to get rid of these i'm going to hide these so the only color that we should have now if i create a track plane is a red one so let's build this to my phone um Let's go build settings and let's drag in Hello AR here into here. And then I'm gonna build this and I will and we will see if I if this works or not. Great, so you know now you know based off of um, RGB you can change this to any color any colours you want. Uh, we could even try a a green now and of course we can change it to a blue as well great so that worked and of course if we change these values to anything we want we can change and create any color we want but what if we want to now hide this mesh completely well, to do that, we can actually find the mesh by looking at using this K planes color. And we can see that it's in the M underscore mesh renderer. 
Uh, so this, the quickest way and the best way I can think of is actually just going to setting this to enabled equals false. And now the mesh won't show. However, that on its own won't be enough because in the update loop, we're constantly switching the mesh renderer back on again. So what we also need to do is just comment this out. And then we can test this on the device as well and you can see that it works. So I hope this helped, I hope this worked for you. Let me know how you found this and if there's any other tutorials you'd like, again, leave a comment and I'll try and get back to you when I can. Thanks, bye.